Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Reverend Christopher Urban. Today, I've got a powerful word. Now, last week, I talked about we are called to the stage. Today, we have to remember there is no stage without the light. There is no stage without the light. We cannot perform in darkness. I could not bring you this publication today in darkness. Likewise, my brothers and sisters, Jesus in John, John the eighth chapter, the 12th verse, he reminds us, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me shall always walk in the light. And that's why I love that song so much. We walk in the light, the beautiful light. Come smell the dewdrops by day and by night. Jesus is the light of the world. And we cannot have light if we walk in darkness. We cannot approach the stage of life if we walk in darkness. Do you know what varmints and rodents do in a dark room when you walk in and the lights come on? They run, they scatter, they hide. This world that we live in is so full of darkness, my brothers and sisters, so full of hate, of mistrust. You can't call yourself a child of God if you're not walking in his light. His light is a light of love. His light is a light of forgiveness. His light is what gives us victory, my brothers and sisters, in our daily walk. You can't have darkness and light at the same time. One precedes the other. In darkness we sleep, in light we arise and we walk and we perform in this stage we call life. Remember, Yahshua, our Lord and Savior, is the light of the world. If you walk in his light, if you follow his word, if you lean not toward the ways of the world, but toward the ways of our Father who art in heaven, if you pray, he will continue to give you light. He will continue to give you direction. He will continue to give you sight. He will continue to give you vision. And our people perish for lack of vision, for lack of light, for lack of knowledge, for lack of understanding. But the greater we understand, the greater we perform on the stage called life. Because we have the light of the world. We have Yahshua, Jesus Christ, who told us, Go ye there throughout the world, baptizing men and women in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And yea, I will be there with you even until the end. So we have that light from the beginning when we accept Christ in our life to the end. When we leave this old life, when we shut off these old clothes. Do you want to have light? Continue to pray, my brothers and sisters. Go down on your knees and say the prayer of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not unto temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And after you prayed, my brothers and sisters, get up. Knowing that you're walking in the light, the beautiful light. Come smell the dew drops by day and by night. Jesus, you hear me? Jesus is the light of the world. Bring him into your heart. And he's going to take you places you never thought you'd go. Don't walk around with your head down. Walk around with your head high, knowing that you are a servant, that you are a child of God. And God's going to bless you. God's going to richly reward you as you walk in his powerful, in his omnipresent light. I pray that you continue to walk in that light. That you continue to lift the one God who can do anything but fail. And I say it all the time. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men, all women unto me. That's right. Over 2.5 billion around the world walking in the light of the Lord. And we are growing every day. When you do something to help somebody. When you help your brothers and sisters, you are walking in the light. And they can walk in the light and they can help another. And then, before you know it, we are all together. All together. Walking in the light. Know that. Claim that. And until next week, keep the victory. Insight. The reason that I have written Victory Insight is because I believe that once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, you are victorious. And I compare being a Christian today with being an athlete. You see, because athletes must condition and train their bodies constantly, day in and day out. They must focus mentally as well as physically. And this is the same thing that Christians must do. But when we do that, truly we see victory in sight. The first poem tonight is entitled, I Shall Give and Follow. I shall give to my Lord my all in all. And then I shall wait to hear his call. If I give all I've got, I can never fail. For when I deal with my father, my ship is sure to sail. My strength is great. I am not weak. And as I walk with the Lord, I walk at my peak. I am built of stone. No evil can break. I shall never be broken. My Lord, I shall never forsake. He has given me hope to bear each hour. He has given me strength, given me power. As I walk in his steps, others shall follow. His powers are strong, his waters not shallow. And never has his love for mankind ever been hollow. To my Lord, my God, I shall give and follow.